They went to look for him, but the tomb was empty because he rose. And when he rose, he carried us with him. The tomb was empty, and now the blood's going to fly. Therefore, nothing can touch you, not COVID-19 or anything else, because Christ has got you now. Resurrection Sunday means that I resurrect with him in Jesus' name. Amen. He has risen. Hallelujah. on that cross for you and for me. All oh, the precious blood of Jesus. about your actions. Think about, think about the consequences. Just think about your lifestyle. The Lord has risen. this Easter day. I'm asking God to bless every one of you. I'm asking God for you to understand that you can be Easter yourself. So I'm asking God to let you tune in. Tell somebody to tune in. Uh, he's on. Yes, sir. They're on. Tune in. Put them in uh, call them. And, but don't leave too long now. 
because, because when, I, when I get started, I'm going to get started here. But I want to give you a little time to just, to just, just tune in real good. And I want you to smile. <laughs> just smile. What am I smiling about? You're smiling because God's blessed you. You're smiling because you're still in the land of the living. You're smiling because God has given you everything according to, according to life and godliness. So tune in and see what God's going to do for you. Call Mabel, call Jerry, call your friends, say, they own, tune in, see what's going on. In all this troublesome time, one thing about it, God's never been in trouble. So and when we get in trouble, God gets us out of trouble. Now, when you talk about Easter, I, I, have, I have to smile because some children never, ever get anything until the time. Some get some at, Easter, at Christmas, but at Easter time, their little, their little baskets that they got and everything, and they got little eggs in it going on. But listen very careful now. Rabbits don't have eggs. Let me say that again. Rabbits don't have eggs. Chicken have eggs. So the, what are the eggs for? Well, that's another story, a whole different, different story there. But let me, let me show you something. Now, each was mentioned in the Bible one time. Uh, look at Acts 12 and 1 for real quick. Acts 12 and 1. Uh -huh. Now, by that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hand uh -huh. to vex certain of the church. Now, the church is being vexed now because any time that, that, that you belong to God, there's going to be somebody out there don't like you. And that's supposed to be because God did that so we understand who we really are. Go ahead. And he killed James, uh -huh. the brother of John, with the sword. Now, this is not James, the apostle Jesus' brother. This is the brother of John, what, what they called sons of thunder. Go ahead. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, uh -huh. he proceeded further uh -huh. to take Peter also. Go ahead, son. Then were the days of eleven bread. Uh -huh. And when he had apprehended him, uh -huh. he put him in prison uh -huh. and delivered unto him four quaternions of soldiers. Hold it right there. Now, the days of unleavened bread, now we eat unleavened bread because Christ is our Passover. When I say Passover, in other words, down in Egypt in the 11th chapter of Exodus and, and the 12th chapter of Exodus, it's called the Passover. So he passed over. The days of unleavened bread, the church is being vexed so much that they start fasting and seeking God, taking communion. Every time you take communion, remember the Passover. Remember how that God, some of your friends are gone now. Some of your, some of your mamas and daddies are gone. But God passed over you. He didn't take you. Go ahead, son. Delivered him to the soldiers to keep him. Uh -huh. uh, intending after Easter uh -huh. to bring him forth to the people. Now, he's going to kill him after Easter. Watch this here now. You know, God is something else. God did not let him kill Peter. Let me show you why. Read. Keep reading. Go ahead. Verse 5. Uh -huh. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison. Uh -huh. But prayer was made without ceasing of the church. Now, let me say this here. This Easter is resurrection. If you in prison, I'm not I'm trying not your prison, or just prison with alcohol, with drugs, or whatever you're doing that got you in prison, it's time to come out. Easter gives gifts. And God gave a gift. And the gift was, watch this here. The gift was, oh, oh yeah. Get me Ephesians 4 record in 11. The gift was to get us out of prison. To, get, to bless us because Easter was a resurrection and God want to resurrect you. Whatever you're doing that's wrong, it's time to resurrect. Go ahead, son. Ephesians 4 and 11. Go ahead. And he gave some apostles uh -huh. and some prophets uh -huh. and some evangelists uh -huh. and some pastors Go ahead, son. and teachers Go ahead, son. for the perfecting of the saints. In other words, he gave these ministries, which is we call the fivefold ministry, to set us free from our sin. If nothing else, in Easter, get yourself free from things that's bothering you. That's why he died and rose again, that he could get you free. So don't just think about no bald eggs and going on painting different colors. You think about your life coming out of, the, coming out of sin. So Easter means coming out of sin because it means resurrection. Resurrect yourself from things that's bothering you. So then he gave a fivefold ministry to perfect the church. And the church has five ministries, and these ministries bring you out of sin. Read for me, son. 
for the perfecting of the saints, uh -huh. for the work of the ministry, uh -huh. for the edifying uh -huh. of the body of Christ. Read, son. Till we all come uh -huh. in the unity of the faith Go ahead, son. and of the knowledge of the Son hold, of God. Hold, listen, the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God. Everything that's done in Easter was to bring us to the knowledge of God. You follow me? Because it's called Resurrection Day. And resurrection day means, means that I've, I've come out of my sins. I'm able now to be with my family. Yes, sir. I'm not going up down the road because I'm resurrected. Why? Because Christ rose from the dead first and God brought me out of the, from the dead. Bless the name of the Lord. You yes, ought to sir. give God a praise yes, right sir. where you are right now because God is blessing you. Read for me, son. And of the knowledge of the Son of God uh -huh. unto a perfect man. To what now? Unto a perfect man. Now, wherever you are, remember, you headed to a perfect man, and that perfect man is Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. All he's saying is that I resurrected myself to resurrect you. Nobody killed him. He resurrected his own self. He couldn't, death cannot hold Jesus. Read for me, son. Until the measure of the stature. Read. Of the fullness of Christ. Read, son. Until we henceforth uh -huh. be no more children. In other words, don't be no more children. Children commit sin. Grown people don't. Let me say it again. Children do things they shouldn't do. When you get to a place that you actually grown in Christ, you won't do certain things. You'll recognize the penalty. Roll ahead, son. Tossed to and fro. Uh-huh. Carried about. Uh-huh. With every wind of doubt. Read it. By the slay of men. Go ahead, son. And cunning crap. Go ahead. Whereby they lie in wait. Uh-huh. To deceive. Hold it. People that belong to God, if, they, if they're grown up, you cannot deceive them. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Right quick. Matthew 24, 24. You see, you may have did wrong, but you weren't deceived when you did it. Come on. You follow me? Yes, sir. You know what you were doing. You know what you're doing. You, know you was doing. not deceived. You can't break. So read from it. Matthew 24 and 24. Read it. For there shall arise false Christ uh -huh. and false prophets. Now, you know people that's false. You're not stupid. You know folks are doing wrong. You're not stupid. Go ahead, son. And shall show great signs and wonders. Go ahead, son. In so much that if Read. were possible, uh -huh. they shall deceive the very elect. In other words, if it's not possible to deceive the elect. If you are the elect, you can hear me. If you are the elect, you know what I'm saying. I'm telling you, Easter means resurrection. Yes, sir. Resurrect yourself. Yes, sir. Why? You ain't got to go on a 40-day fast and, and a, a nine-day prayer. Just stop. The Bible said, whatever, uh, whatever he said, do, do it. So do it. Easter means I, I now can look at what Christ is dead and has did for me and bought me up. Watch this here. Romans, the sixth chapter and the first verse. Watch this here. See, resurrection means that I'm out, I'm out, I'm out doing what's right now. I was doing what's wrong. Now I'm doing what's right now. I can enjoy Christmas. I can enjoy, I can enjoy uh, 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 Easter because Easter means Resurrection. Read it for me. Romans 6 and 1. Uh huh. What shall we say then? Read. Shall we continue in sin? Uh huh. That grace may abide. See, if nothing else, remember now, it's time to come out of sin. Why? Because he resurrected so we can be resurrected with him. Read for me. God forbid. Read. How shall we? Read. That are dead to sin. Hold it. Dead to sin. Not dead in sin. If you are committing sin, you are dead in sin, and you are dead, you die in that state, you will not make heaven. When you get saved, you die to sin. Read for me. That are dead to sin, uh -huh. live any longer therein. Read it. Know ye not uh -huh. that so many of us uh -huh. as were baptized into Jesus Christ Reason. were baptized unto his death. In other words, when you got baptized, whether it was Easter, whether it was Christmas, or last week or last night, you are baptized into his death. See, when you get baptized, it's symbolic of the blood. When you get baptized, yes, you go down into the water, Come and on. the water becomes the blood. Without the blood, you can't do nothing. You read in the 12th chapter, 11th chapter of Exodus, he, God said, listen very carefully. I'm going to come down tonight. Yes, sir. And when I come down at 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock is, is, is the darkest part of night, uh, before day, I'm going to come down. 
And when I come down, I'm going to send, I'm going to be a death angel. And when I, when I look and I see the blood on the door, on oh, the door, yeah. and the door post, I'm going to pass on. you by. So each to me, he passed us by because he rose from the dead and brought us up. You ought to be happy right now. So when he passed by, he saw the blood on the doors. He, he, then he passed by. God passed you by and blessed you not to, not to uh, wind up back in your sin. If you ain't sin, come out of it. Read for me, son. Verse 4. Uh -huh. Therefore, we are buried with him uh -huh. by baptism into death. Hold it. We're, baptized, we're, we're buried with him in baptism into death. You went in the water. You washed away your sins. Without hitting the water, you can't rest, You cannot get away of your sin. Because the sin washes you because it's the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. And then when, when you rise, you rose like Christ did. Read for me. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead Read, sir. by the glory of the Father, uh -huh. even so we also uh -huh. should walk in newness of life. Not new me, whatever I was doing that was wrong, I'm able to stop it. Just stop it. Because why? Because Christ died, was buried, and we buried him with, with baptism in the water. When you rise out of the water, that means that you, you're new your new person was your male, male or female, your new person, and your heart and your mind don't want to commit no more sin. Why? Because I was buried with him and I yes, rose sir. a brand new person. Uh, get, get me second verse right here. Five, five, uh, five and seven. Go ahead. Brian, go ahead. Verse five. Uh huh. For if we have been planted together Read in the likeness of his death, uh -huh. we shall be also Read. in the likeness of his resurrection. Now, Likeness means Christ died, was buried. We went into the water, and into the water means we went under, which is symbolic of the grave. But in that water, then we, it's really the blood. When the blood covers you, you're safe. Come on. If you're out there right now doing Easter, how many eggs you got? Come on. How many children you got? Come on. Please don't die. Come on. Don't die. Because if you die, listen very carefully, you won't need no eggs. <laughs> so eggs will be gone and you'll be gone too. Cover yourself in the blood. Easter means resurrection. Not Christ resurrected you. 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 Why? Because you're the one that needs to be covered in this blood. Read for me. Verse 6. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him. Uh -huh. That the body of sin Read. might be destroyed. Hold it. When, you, when we're crucified with him and the body that was sin can't commit no more sins. Why? Therefore, they can't, watch this here. Three and nine of Ephesians, for me real quick. They can, cannot commit no more sins because you're buried you came up, you went down a sinner and came up a saint. Now, some of y'all went down all right. You went baptized nine or ten times and still not saved. Now, don't y'all get mad at me. You went down a dry cigar sucker, came up with a wet one. Hello! Come went on. down a dry liar, came up with a wet liar. Resurrection means you are, you changed. Read for me, Roger. Ephesians 3 and 9. Go ahead. And to make all men see. Read. What is the fellowship of the mystery? Read it. Which from the beginning of the world uh -huh. had been hid in God. Go ahead. Who created all things by Jesus Christ. He created everything by Jesus Christ. Second verse 5 and 17. Now watch this here now. If anybody be in Christ, you a new creature. Old thing passed away. It was a resurrection me. When Christ died, the body he had did not see corruption, but the body he had died when he rose from the dead. Corruption can't touch him no more because you cannot corrupt him because he's, he is born again like we're born again. You cannot corrupt him because he never committed no sin. When you come up out of, the, out of that water, understand this here, you're supposed to be a new person. Read for me. 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Read. Therefore, if any man be in Christ. Wait a minute. That means you, 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 me, 
Anybody. Go ahead, son. He is a new creature. Go ahead. Old things are passed away. Hold it. Old things mean your old life. Your old life. You don't ride no more. You don't backbite no more. Yes, sir. And you learn how to enjoy Easter by giving somebody something. Easter means he gave me something. I want to give him something. Yes, sir. I want to give him my life, first of all. David put it this way. What shall I want to tell the Lord? Come on. He said, oh, if, yeah. he, said he owned a cow, a cow of a thousand hills. He said, if he hung, he wouldn't even tell me. Then David thought about it. I know. I'll take the cup of salvation. Come on. I'll enjoy Easter. Yes, sir. Because Easter, he rose. And I call upon his name. So this Easter, take the cup of salvation. Call upon his name. And everything that's going on, I promise you, it'll stop. Because then you got a covering over you. Cover yourself with Jesus Christ. Watch this him. Uh, Proverbs also 11.25. Who got to read it from real quick? Right here now. When you look at the scriptures, water means something. Water means, means that, that you have got to a place in God where you understand that the water, which is the blood. Also, 1 John 5 and 6. Read for me. Proverbs 11 and 25. Read it. The liberal soul. What now? The liberal soul. Liberal soul. Roger, can you get me liberal for me real quick? The liberal soul? Whoa. Some of y'all ain't liberal. Y'all know kind of way. You're liberal doing wrong, but you ain't got nothing towards doing right. Easter means you're resurrected with Christ. Do right. Read for me. Liberal. liberal. Mark with generosity. What? Mark with generosity. What else? Willing to give. What? Willing to give. Willing to give. Not just finances. Just willing to give yourself to help somebody who needs help. Anything else there? Willing to offer up sacrifice. Offer sacrifice. Yes, sir. Listen very carefully. Wh whoever listened to us right about now, you ought to said, make your mind up. I'm going to send a sacrificial offering in so God can bless me. Why? Because Christ gave to me, and I want to give to, the, to God's house so God can bless me. If you want to be blessed, learn how to do it. Anything else now? Big hearted. What now? Big hearted. Oh, my God. Hey, Some of y'all hearts so small you can't see it. Hey, come on. Big hearted. That means your heart is big. You don't mind giving. Yes, sir. When you give, you get. Read it for me. Free handed. Oh, my God. Free handed. Some of y'all hand is closed, been closed all your life. But listen very carefully. The Bible says in Ephesians 5, that about 3, a covetous man will not get to heaven. A stingy person will not go to heaven. So if you stand here, loose it, turn it loose. This is Easter. Buy some child something. Buy somebody something. Bless God's house and let people know, listen very carefully, Christ rose from the dead for me. And, and he helped me to be liberal, to give that which I, I have. And that which I don't have, I'm going to get it. Read it for me. The liberal soul shall be made fat. What now? The liberal soul. Read it. Shall be made fat. Uh-huh. And he that water. Uh-huh. Shall be watered also. When you, when you give something, you water. And when you water, you get back what you did. Proverbs 19, 17 also. You get it back. The liberal soul is made fat. Some of y'all need financing. Give to God's house. Give it. And you receive it. You see, banks is good, but banks give a little dividend. When you give to God, he gives 30 for 60 for and 100 for. Read for me. Proverbs 19 and 17. Go ahead. He that had pity upon the poor. Uh-huh. Lend it unto the Lord. Do what now? Lend it unto the Lord. Go ahead, sir. And that which he had given. Read it. Will he pay him again? This ministry. Yes, sir. House, it feed. It clothes. And we do things for people other folk won't do. If you got an offer, say, listen, God, Lord, I'm going to send it in because I need to be blessed. And I know you want to be blessed. Holy hand, you want to be blessed. I yes, see, I see, I see, yes, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see yes, you're going to be blessed. Why? Because yes. you're going to give. Why? Because it's what Christ did. Everything on earth gives. 
they got to give. God so loved the world. Wait now. He didn't forgive. He gave for it. And yes, when sir. he gave, he forgave. Read for me. I tell you, I read myself. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him. Hold it. Just, 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 just a minute. Your old man is crucified because you did something with it. You did something with it. You made your mind up. You was tired of going through things you have to go through. Think about some of you that saved now. How miserable was you? Amen. When you was going through those things. Yes, sir. So think about the folks that's going through now. On Easter, go knock on somebody's door and say, I got a present for you. What present? Jesus Christ loves you. He wants you to be blessed. And being blessed, he wants you to understand something. If you bless him, he'll bless you. Ephesians, right quick, forward one for me real quick. Now, remember what it said now. Easter means just that, that he resurrected. Now, you resurrect yourself. Why? Because God has already said that sufficient physician save yourself. Read for me. Ephesians 4 and 1. Uh -huh. I therefore the prisoner of the Lord uh -huh. beseech you that ye walk worthy. Now, I, I like that. Prisoners can't go nowhere. Come on. Now, let me explain now. Yes, sir. Now, I, don't, now, I don't want you to go to jail. <laughs> I'm not saying go to jail. Amen. Prisoners mean somebody control me. If I try to turn to the wrong way, He's going to put me in the right trail. Yes, sir. In fact, also, Exodus right quick, 23 and 20. Go ahead, keep yes, reading sir. with me. That you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called. You've got the right word, walk worthy of how, what you were called. You were called out of darkness into light. Not just light, but the marvelous light. You know how to commit no sins anymore. Go ahead, son. Keep reading. With all lowliness uh -huh. and meekness. What now? With all lowliness and meekness. Read for me. With long suffering. Do what now? With long suffering. Easter means I've got love and joy and peace and yes, long sir. suffering and gentleness and goodness and faith and, and temperance. I've got the fruits of the spirit so I can put up with anything you put up on me because I love you so much. I want to see what God did for me. I want to do the same, I want to do the same thing for you. So I want you to understand the, I, the fruits of the Spirit mean I've got these things in me because I was resurrected, I resurrected from the dead. You follow me? Yes, sir. East is every day. Yes, sir. Because every day somebody come to Christ. Every day somebody gets saved. Yes, sir. So therefore, East is every day. And it's even more every day when you learn how to bless people. Read for me. Ephesians 4, 2 continue. Uh -huh. Forbearing one another in love. Uh -huh. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit. Wait a minute. Forbearing in, in love? People do something to you. You just smile. It's Easter. So what's he going to do? It's Easter so I remember what God did for me. Come on. So I'm not going to let you bother me. I'm going to give you anyhow. No matter what, I'm going to give to you. Get yourself into an Easter spirit. Easter spirit means just that. It's Easter and the spirit in me that, that loves you no matter what you do. And remember where you come from. Look back where you come from. Yes, sir. See what God done did for you. Come Look on. how you bless your family and say, it's Easter time. It's time to give. Not just finances, but give myself to people around me. And whatever they need, I'm going to give it to them. Easter means I've got a heart that's real big, not a tiny heart, a heart that I kill. Easter means I'm going to check myself out. And the things I'm doing wrong, I'm going to give myself the gift. What gift, Bishop? I'm going to give myself the gift of doing right, doing right. That's what Easter's all about. It's all about being able to treat your family right. But first of all, do God right. Yes, Bless sir. God's house. Bless people around you. And say, now I'm ready for the resurrection. Somebody give God a praise up in here. Yes, sir. I can feel the resurrection now. Yes, sir. Some of y'all, even now, you, you, you made your mind up. It's time for me to clean my life up. Easter means clean up your life. Easter means you're going to stop doing wrong. 
Easter means I'm going to give. Easter means I see what Christ did. He raised from the dead, and I rose with him. God bless all of you. God be with you. And I know that Easter is your day because you belong to God. If you belong to God, Easter's calling you to do right towards him. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And God keep you in truth and in love and in mercy and in judgment because you are the one that's on the line. So Easter means I'm going to change my whole way of doing Easter. Instead of blessing myself, I'm going to bless the name of the Lord. Yes, sir. I'm going to bless here. Please ask 11 said, give a portion of this one and that one and that. You don't know what evil coming tomorrow. Easter means this Easter, they're going to know who I am because I'm going to bless God's house. I'm going to bless people. And Easter going to be mine from now on. Smile. Easter's here. Resurrected. You resurrected yourself. In Jesus' name, God bless you. We'll talk again.